Hey guys, thanks for dropping in to Design by Kathy. Today I'm gonna to step out of my comfort zone. If you've been following my videos, you know that I really like to do a lot with the, the pores, uh, acrylic pores and resin. But today I'm gonna to do something a little different, so let's follow along and let's make something. What I'm gonna use on this, uh, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm gonna be using this light pink. I'm gonna use this fuchsia. I'm gonna use a little bit of deep burgundy. And I have this deep coral, a bit of yellow we're gonna need, and of course, white. Now I have gone ahead and prepared the surface of this canvas with a coat of white. Uh, basically, you know, so I could get my edges painted here. Um, <clears throat> so, let's get started. I'm gonna start out using this little credit card and let's see what we can get going here. I'm gonna kinda start in the center because I have, you know, a little something in mind. We'll see how well it works, but I'm just gonna place some little droplets along here. And my magenta. And it's pretty overpowering. I wanna to try to use a little, as little of it as possible because it's a, it's a, it's a strong color, I'll say. Okay, now I'm gonna take my little credit card here. And I'm just gonna swipe these out in, in various directions here. Just slightly swipe over it. little one inch little craft smart brush I'm going to add just a little bit now while I have white you know I already have white here but I'm gonna add a little bit here and there because this is what we're gonna just start take it picking up these edges along here and swiping over towards the edge I'm gonna pick that white up in there too because I want these to be very light and you know light nice strokes I'm just gonna keep going around and picking up this little, this paint that we swiped there and taking it out all the way to the edge. I do the same over here, put a little bit more white. Be sure and drag it all the way to the edge or in that case, sling it completely off the table. Be sure and, and cover your, your work surface, if, especially if you're using your kitchen table. But just keep making these strokes and, you know, they may not be going the direction you want, you know, right at first, but that's easy enough to change. And we're, you know, you can also come back. We may add some more of our other colors <clears throat> to pick up there. But see, I wanna pick them up very lightly and have these strokes. I want it to really flow out from this center piece, the center part here. Gonna keep making these little swapping motions all the way around. Just 
just keep going till you get all of it covered. Unless for some, whatever reason, I mean, this is again, your personal preference. You may not want to cover all of it. You could cover a portion of it. This particular one, I want to cover all of it for what I'm attempting to do here. Might need just a tad more little white, just some droplets here. Oops, well, that was a big droplet, but that's okay. I'm gonna spread that around. Again, making sure that I've got it all the way to the edge. Okay, now that I have my strokes pretty much covering all of it, I wanna really focus on the center here. So I wanna make sure all my swipes are coming out from the center. Oops. And we can change the directions and, you know. And kind of not really layering, but see, but you have to, I have to be careful. I just crossed over one of mine that I didn't really want to cross over, but that's okay. Go back and Go back and swap over it again. You know, I, again, I, I haven't mentioned this in a while, that I recommend starting with smaller canvases um, for several reasons. One, uh, expense-wise, and, and mainly, you don't want to overwhelm yourself you know, with too large of a piece, if you're just starting out on a project that you've not done before. And honestly, sometimes it's gonna work like you want it to, sometimes it's not. But hey, you know, especially for you ladies now, this isn't speaking to the men, but like, you know, we put makeup on, we try new techniques. Well, you're not gonna stop wearing makeup just because your first try didn't work the way you wanted it to. So if it doesn't work right the first time, or if it, you don't get the look you want, I guess I should say. Keep trying. Okay, now I'm liking that, but I want a little more contrast. So I am gonna add back a little bit more of this magenta. Kind of layer over this. <clears throat> I'll try to pick up just, just little bits. I don't really want to spread like I did in the beginning because I don't want to, I don't want to mess up what I got going there. Now, I didn't say what I was attempting to do here because, you know, we're attempting. Um, so I hope that you can see what I'm going for is the look of a, f a floral look, a look of a flower. Just a little more. I do like that contrast that it's given. You know, this is a good stress reliever too, FYI. Uh, not only can you make something, make something pretty, make something for yourself, make something for a friend, but it's a great stress relief. And you know, I don't know uh, what kind of stress you may be dealing with, but most everybody has a little bit of something going on, but it's a great stress relief. Catch a little bit more up through here. Whoops. And see, you can just easily change that direction. That's just, I don't know, it's just mesmerizing to me. So, like I said, great stress relief. 
Now, okay, so I've got this center going here. Now this is where I'm really gonna step out and do something I have not done before. I want to try to make a little center here in the middle of this. Of course, I don't want it to, I don't wanna take it out as far. I'm gonna clean my little brush off. Give that a minute to kind of sit and dry. So I'm gonna put just a little bit, let's see what happens. I may, I may uh, <laughs> just come up with some psychedelic colors and mess up the whole shebangy here. Who knows? But like I said, we're doing this to have fun, right? Now I'm gonna take this little tool it's an artist by artist loft, a uh, little butter knife looking thing is what I can, uh, what I call it. And you actually could use a butter knife. I'm gonna try to just take some little strokes out here for the center, gently. And that's not really, I think I'm gonna try a different tool. That's not doing what I wanted it to. So when that fails, let's try something else. Let's see what happens if we, do the yet, do it with this, with our little brush. Just making little gentle, I wanna keep wiping my brush off because I don't want, you know, I don't wanna take all my other colors, my magenta and my pinks all back in there, but I wanna keep this yellow and I tend to be whacking it off there. Okay. I'm clean my little brush. I'll add just a little bit more. Just, I'm just lightly stroking so I won't go all the way down to the canvas and where my colors are. I'm trying to focus on just coming out from the middle Kind of using the edge here. And I'm by no means any brush expert. I'm just trying to do what is working for, or what, how I want it to work. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can just dot, and this will be interesting. I'm going to, I just want a dot of orange right in the center of it. So I'm gonna just squirt out a little bit over here. And I've got one of these little, uh, oops. <laughs> I have one of these that I cleaned and it still has stuff in it. Oh my, that's not exactly what I was hoping for there. <laughs> But okay, let's see if we can get all the air out. Now, I just wanna suck up a teeny weeny bit of this. Wow, it went, let me see what that's gonna, that's not gonna come out like a, oh, yeah it is, okay, okay, okay. Let's try that again. I want this just right in the center. And Lordy B, I'm the worst person trying to find the center or something, I can tell you. But we're gonna try. I think I need a little more. It's, it's squirting out like that because I'm not putting really much, you know, that much paint in it. I'm just trying to get just a little bit. So, uh, first of all, I don't want to suck up the whole thing of paint because I don't want to waste it. Now, I think we're getting, got a big bubble, but that's okay. I don't want to mix because I don't know.
And you can find probably any kind of little tool to, I just had some of these, any kind of little tool to make this little thing work. Anyway, uh, I'm going to see here. Let me see if I can pick it up and turn it around. Probably what I'll do now, you know, my edges are painted white. I'll turn it this way as well so you can see each direction. Anyway, let's, you know, that was pretty fun. Um, probably get, like I said, I'm gonna come back and paint around my edges with the, uh, you know, the pink and one of the pinks because I like the edges to be covered. I guess if you're gonna do it, if you do it on one of the, the, um, oh, well, I can't think what they're called, but they're flat uh, canvas papers. You know, you wouldn't have to worry about that, but I, I do like to have my edges covered. Uh, if you chose to, you could bring this out even bigger. You could use browns, you know, just depending on what color scheme you wanted, but do use contrasting, you know, lights and darkers, and then your white, and there we have it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have as much fun doing this project as I had doing it. <laughs> this was a lot of fun, and like I said, it was stepping out of my comfort zone. So give it a try yourself. If you have a question, please feel free to comment. And I also hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Whatever you do, make it yours, make it personal, and you can do it.